How are you guys? Welcome back to my channel, Trusted Gem. That is Quita, or you can call me Quita. Either one would do. I answer to both. Please like, share, subscribe, donate, all that good jazz. Um, you want to book a read with me? Any of that information that you want to get in contact with me to for my services is in the description box or a donation. It is in the description box. Y'all, it's 2 o'clock in the morning, so we're going to have to excuse the bunny today, okay? The bunny is just going to be on the job and his own back, but just, I, and I've been working all day. All day I've been working, okay? <laughs> um, so I, Holy Spirit, let me do this reading. I already prayed. I already got the cards down because I want to, you know, speed it up because, okay, videos take so long to process. So I'm trying to speed up the process here. But somebody is, it's a prostitute that's trying to brainwash either you or your person. But this prostitute is trying to brainwash your um, significant other, your counterpart, Vice versa, whoever is a man or woman, y'all, y'all get it, y'all get it. Um, it's another, uh, it's an airy sun person. Uh, she is very toxic ego. Um, what I'm getting, somebody's cloaking their stuff in this Aries energy. This is not this Aries. I think this is this. Um, picking up Leo and Capricorn energy here. Uh, older people, they're cloaking themselves in younger energy to make them seem like that it's someone else and it's not. That's what the Holy Spirit is giving me. But they are very toxic and they they don't want to let go. They do not want to let you go. So if you're like me and you're highly, you know, vibrational and you have a lot of energy and a lot of um, solar plexus energy, they like to harvest that. So they don't want to let that go. So what they're doing is doing. they're going to do the most. They're going to do the most. God going to probably end up having to unalive them because they, they won't stop. They won't. And that's what, when it comes to that psycho energy, that's what people do. And it's like, I don't even want to. Let me get my emotions out of it. Um, I got, um, someone is messing with somebody's brain in the astral realm. Like when you sleep, um, I know that's a spiritual realm, but this is like, you know how people, people do spiritual work on you and it doesn't have nothing to do like, this person is actually going into astral. I don't even know how to explain it. Um, but they're actually going into the astral room, probably using their um just meditating or whatever. Some people boost their stuff up with demons and then meditate to get their stuff done. But somebody's trying to brainwash somebody's divine counterpart, man or woman. Man or woman. They're trying to uh do that and 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 then they're trying to mess with somebody's insurance. So be aware of that. They're trying to mess with somebody's insurance. I look so tired, y'all. I am. I am beat. <laughs> I am beat. But they're trying to mess with somebody's insurance, too. So just be aware of that. Someone that you're dating or talking to don't feel like they're good enough. So um, this person needs to really work on their security. Work on that um, root chakra energy. Um, if they had any childhood trauma, that could be one of their plagues, like one of those things that they, you know, cause once you're used to being insecure, it's easy to go back to any habit. It's easier to go back because that's your habit. And I feel like this person, one of their toxic traits is being insecure in their root chakra energy. Sorry, my throat just started to get real scratchy. And these people are quiet manipulators. They're, these people are trying to, they're quietly, um, I, I'm trying to say children and kidnapping at the same time. <laughs> My brain, it's 2 o'clock in the morning. It's 2 o'clock in the morning. But um, they're trying to kidnap somebody's children and they are doing this. And it is um, these quiet manipulators that's doing this. You guys, they are doing this quietly, and it's crazy because it's not just in the U.S. It's, it's in the U.K. too. It's not just in the U.S. I don't know U.K. people like that. I don't know, but I'm picking up U.K. too because I have Mr. Noble's partner, so he said that. He tried to say that I'm a liar, that he wasn't with um, Paul McCarthy. I didn't say that. The, the spiritual word did. I don't, I don't care if you gay, black, white. I, I really don't care. I don't know why it was important, but the spirit had me... Um, to know that but he was and that spirit said that's not a lie but he was uh if you look at the picture of him and liz they're just it's just a couple i think it's just a couple them holding hands it's not a real picture of them kids and holding hands. none of it <laughs> none of it so 
Baby, I I'm I read everything. I read it. I read everything. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh, that's cute. Cause if it was me, and when I bring my boo, I'm gonna bring all of it. I'm not gonna, you know, hey, that's just me. But you know, if he want to be in the closet, he can. I, I really don't care. Spirit uh, revealed that to me. I don't really give a two hoots what he do with his 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 genitals. I really don't. As long as it ain't over here or with me and my kids, or we is cool. <laughs> you know what I mean? But it came up spiritually, so. Obviously, he be dimming and dabbling in my energy because spirit showed it to me. So, stay out my energy, Steve. No, if you don't want me to talk about you, back up, player. I shall. No, I'm not going to be pissed. <laughs> I can be real, real. I can, write some stuff. I can say some stuff to hurt people's feelings. And the thing I want to say to him, because, like, baby, you did spiritual work to tell me that I was a liar. But you had to come on your page to show the world that you and Liz is together, but you only holding Liz's hand with a cup. That I, it could be anybody's hand. That could be two men's. That could be Paul McCarthy and the other hand. I'm just saying. You say it's Liz. I don't have no proof of that, sir. <laughs> so this this is my brain. When people tell me stuff, I'm just like, uh, I'm looking for all facts, no details. Like all the details. I'm looking for all facts. I don't care what you say, what you telling me. That could be Paul McCarthy hand, for all I know. He, he wear a nail polish too. Like, like, don't play with me. Like, <laughs> anyway. And that's what this, this someone desire for you and your partner. Um, if you have a, if you have a significant other, or a twin flame partner, can you tell however you identify your divine counterpart? They want, they're messing, they're trying to, how they brainwash somebody is messing with their lymphatic system and limpid system. That will really brainwash you and confuse you. I know from experience, um, and that's how they brainwash people, is they attack your lymphatic system and your limpid system. Your limpid system has to do with your memory, with the way you process, your parents, all your survival emotions are in your limpid system. Okay? So that is how they brainwash you through your lymphatic system and your lymphatic system. When your lymphatic system get clogged up, you, you easily get confused. When your lymphatic system is tampered with, your memory is tampered with, you get stuff confused as well. So if they can't, if you're doing spiritual work on your lymphatic system, like I do, I do spiritual, I cleanse every day, my chlorophyll water, and I got probiotics, baby. <laughs> Don't blame. And then your lymphatic system, like yoga, working out, and stuff like that. Um, and plus they have freaking high frequency music for that as well. So I, I do it daily because they, they, these people ain't playing with me. <laughs> these, these, these comments ain't playing with me. They, they, they try, they, they doing a lot of death spells on me. I'm sorry, you guys. I was playing with the makeup earlier and it's making me look ashy and I'm not ashy. That's why I don't like wear makeup because my face get really scratchy and I start scratching it. And I was just playing with it because my daughter, well, let my daughter, and we were just playing with it so much. But, um, yeah, but what I was saying, yeah, they like to mess with people, lymphatic, lymphatic system and lipid systems. When when they can't do that, then what they, they would do, they've been, trying, they've been doing death spells. They've been doing a lot of work on my daughter's lipid system because, oh, she's going to go to the park. Every time I take her somewhere, they try to do a death spell on her. Is is I'm I'm not lying. She almost got hit twice since we've been out, and it's like oh my god, like what are you doing? <laughs> like a good thing I'm the parent that I am a good parent because baby what? And they they go after her the most out of anybody because they can't get to me, so they get to her. Um, I feel I think they feel like I love her the most, and it's not that it's because she's disabled, she's autistic, so she needs more love, more attention, and I think they think I love her more than my other kids, so they think like. I don't know. It's just weird. They, psychotic people are weird. Psycho, like weird. Why are you attacking a child, ex-president, ex-first lady, like a child, eleven year old child, like really? <laughs> but you know that's what psychopaths do. They lack empathy for anyone but themselves. Okay. Um. <laughs> yeah. So they've been doing a hell of death spells. They've been doing like and then working on lymph. Oh, just. I just want to go to the park, go to the park. I'm like, no, baby, you can't go to the park. I um, I said, not right now, you know. And it's crazy because she has all kind of toys and stuff. And, and she just want to go to the park. And when she gets to the park, she don't do nothing. She just sit there. She don't even really play. She, I think the last time we went, she just like, 
was on the swing for like two minutes and then that was it. So they really have an agenda with getting my daughter outside the house for some reason. Well, we know the reason, but they re they agenda. They trying to stick heavy to it. They are really livid. They are livid with me. They, <laughs> baby, I I am number one. I've been number one on their list, baby. I I guarantee you, they man don't whoever I know it is. They man don't get as much attention as I, as I do from this woman, and the husband don't get as much attention as I do from um the the husband don't get as much attention as I do from this woman and. This woman don't get as much attention as I do. Like, they both focus is me. And it's like, I, I am so surreal that you keep sending me free energy. Knowing that I'm an alchemist. Like, you keep sending me free fucking energy. Like, dude, you keep doing that shit. My, my, my prayers get answered simply because my heart is pure, is good. And I'm not like... But I know I don't. I, I never bet these people. I wish I, I, I don't wish no harm on them. Like Brad, like I return back to center. I don't wish no harm on you, but you keep doing stuff and attacking a the child. Then <laughs> my hands are tied. Like my baby can't defend herself. I have to defend her, and it's crazy because people we we like when i came on this journey i was all loving like i i didn't do practice any dark stuff i didn't put, go into my shadow side any of that being working with these psychotic spiritualist psych these narcissistic personality types they, they make you go on your darker side i had to go on my shadow side dealing with these people and not necessarily my shadow side was bad i like i don't have like you know some people are pedophiles and stuff like that's not that's not my shadow side my shadow side is i overgive, i over love and they like oh you did this for for your twin and and i do it again that's shadow work like okay i know who i am and at first they used to make me feel bad about it like okay so wait that's not half of my soul maybe he needed that love that's a little extra i gave him smear it on him <laughs> you know what i mean and now baby <laughs> don't play with me because I they don't took me through the dark night. They did dark night spells. Dark night of the soul spells on me and shadow work spells on me so much. It's like I eat that for breakfast. <laughs> I sleep on that at night. Good. <laughs> Real good. <laughs> Give me good rest. <laughs> so it's just like, thank you for thinking of me. Thank you. It, it's not the kind of love that I would want to receive, but it's still love. Because God said he's in everything and everyone, and you still have love within you. It's just that you don't know how to show it properly. <laughs> and that's not my fault. <laughs> and it's not like you don't know better, because you do. You know, you, you guys are old enough. The, the two people I'm talking to, you old enough to be my mama and my daddy. Quit playing. Almost my grandma and my granddaddy, too. Quit playing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, somebody ex out here acting up too. They ex acting up. Yeah, big time. Sweet said they big time acting up. Your ex acting up big time. Like what's going on with the ex? Oh, <gasps> your ex is doing moon magic on your solar plexus. Ooh, shut up. Yep, and they using demons to do it. This moon magic is being powered by demons. Somebody ex is. Let me find out. And on your destiny. That your ass don't like your destiny. Ooh. Ooh. Why that name came out Holy Spirit? Ooh. Okay. And this person is doing something for um doing moon matching for Willow Smith and Tory Lane Tory Lanes not to like you or to to do something to like they're trying to this is what I'm saying about narcissistic people. Like they, their things is never the love and light. You know what I mean? It's always something sinister or something dark. And it's just like now that they they want like big time people to hate you so that they can do magic on you. This is what this person is doing. If you got an ex that's a Pisces sign, they doing it. They this they doing moon magic. And they're asking why. They're asking the demons why. And they're doing um, negative energetic work on your electric bill. So just do that. that I, when I was in Florida, I kid you not, even here, uh, where I live at now in Arizona, baby, my light bill was like $500. And I'm like, how? I mean, I turned on my EVAP system because we don't have AC. We have an EVAP system. For, I mean, I turned on my heater. And, um, 
I turn on my heat in my furnace. For three days, $500? I turned that motherfucker off and it still was $500. I was just like, you know what? And come to find out when I went into the spiritual world, they was doing, my, it was my ex um, doing, not even my ex, it was the ex-president and his first lady doing negative energy that work on my electric bill. Yeah. <laughs> now they got this person doing it. Yeah, it's child. Your ex do not like your destiny. Ooh. Mm-hmm. They don't like your destiny. And they asking the demons why you meditate, when you meditate, like how you meditate. You're definitely into a new cycle. A new cycle has arisen, has started. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Has started. Cry, they are crying. Even the demons are crying. Excuse me, you too, my bad. Mm hmm. They're trying to block your direction as well. They're trying to block your direction. Yeah, I got self conscious. Now, what you trying to tell me? Hold the spirit about this. They're messing with your sh dang y'all do everything underneath the moon. Y'all don't get tired, do ya? I tell you. <laughs> they're they're messing with your direction. They're messing with your subconscious mind and your chakras. <laughs> good thing I good thing I know the God that I know, cause baby, y'all, y'all the most high God. Y'all is just a bunch of devils. I'm talking about these exes and, and these other people that's doing this craziness. Y'all are wicked. Smile. <laughs> oh my God, spirits! <laughs> they're crying. They're throwing a pity party. They have crying and party together. Child. I'm laughing because like that is a lot of crying. What well, what? I I ain't trying to give my ex no more no no more nothing. Like <laughs> I'm tired of talking about you, sir. Move on. Don't, the, the love was never fake, but you know I had enough of the abuse. <laughs> Deuces. <laughs> like my ex was so depressing. I was always like, even if I be in a mood, it's like, oh, you too much, you too happy. It's all. Like, well, get out my personal space. You like when he come in the room, he bring the mood down. Like I'm just, uh. I'm, and I told him straight up, I don't like when you around. It's just like a drag. And then one day we was. I think we was we was going somewhere and he was like I was showing him pictures of how I used to take pictures all the time. I said, Yeah, when you were around when I dated you, that's the only time I started taking pictures because you don't like pictures and we never took pictures, but before I was happy, I was doing my hair taking pictures. I said, You always want to be in the house. He always wanna be shut up in the room. That's it. That's all he wanted to do, work and go to the shop room, which is nothing wrong with that. But I was in my late 20s, early 30s, like, what? I want to have fun. I want to, you know, go out dating with my man and stuff like that. But he didn't want to do all that. And now that I'm by myself and I'm enjoying myself, you want to cry? He never supported my work. This is what I'm doing. He never supported it. But now you want to cry? And then you don't like my destiny. That means you ain't like it back then. And I knew that. So, <laughs> you where you at? So what are you crying for, sir? Get it together. Get it together. <laughs> We're gonna need you to get it together. Pull yourself together. Cause you're going like two different two different directions at once. And you're not confusing me, you're confusing yourself. <laughs> Cause I ain't got no eye on you. <laughs> so I don't even know why you showing up in my reading. Like, bye. You're dismissed. And I'm not doing it in the moon. I'm not like I'm over it. I'm over the relationship. <laughs> Eight years. Bye bye. <laughs> bye. Eight years, bye. Um, I don't regret them, but I'm oh, I'm done. I'm just done. I'm beneath though. I'm over it. Let's see. Let's see what else you got for us. <sighs> what else you got for us? Holy shit. What else you got for us? That rail card keep coming out. Somebody is just like, I think spirit wants you. I don't think you 
know or understand you have to come to the full realization of how real you are that's what spirit is saying you haven't come to the full grasp of how rare you are okay spirit was shy me <laughs> shy me spirit okay <laughs> Yo, I can be, I'm like when I get sleepy, I get giddy. <laughs> I'm really giddy before I go to sleep. <laughs> if you ever around me while I'm sleeping, bro, you be like, "Did you smoke?" I, I know I'm just sleeping. <laughs> Yo, they're trying to end your rarity. Like, how you gonna end so, who somebody is? <sighs> oh Lord Jesus! And they're trying, um. Oh, the evil eye came out not one time. They came out two times right behind each other. Twice. Some, some of these cards are in here twice for that purpose to read. So if it come out twice, it's like, dang, it's powerful. It's sitting, they're sitting out powerful evil eyes. But that's okay. We got remedies for all that. My face is the, is the, is that, that freaking concealer, my daughter. Like, yeah, it, it's, 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 it, y'all, my face not ashy. It's the concealer. Anyways, <laughs> I should have um, moisturized, but I haven't even moisturized yet. I took a shower, but I didn't moisturize my face. Um, I didn't even wash my face in the shower. I never do. I always wash it in the sink before I go to sleep. Um, but, yeah, this evil eye spirit, there's so many ways that you can cleanse the evil eye. People all day, eh, eh, eh. and I was like, hold on, I don't want to do the egg. I don't like doing the egg. So they showed me another way. It's so, like, it's it's easier too. And I'm like, because the egg was, I was not feeling the egg. You know what I mean? I was not feeling the egg. So I didn't do the egg. And I suffered daily for not doing the egg, but it helped me to learn a new way. Because I don't know, my stubbornness, sometimes, it, when I was unhealed, my stubbornness got me in trouble. Now that I'm healed, I healed those part of me that were, you know, interfered with. You can't all the way heal, but I heal a lot of my childhood wounds and a lot of um, relationship uh, cycles, uh, all that craziness that was going on in my relationship and my psyche. I healed a lot of that, and now my stubbornness make it like it's creative. You know what I mean? Like that's what I, I didn't understand what spirit meant. You keep what you what you heal, you keep. Whatever made you crazy before would make you sane. And it would be like if, if you used to go through a cycle of crazy and having all this unbalanced, it'll bring balance, but it'll bring it double. And this is one of the ways. Like now my stubbornness bring me like creativeness. And I, I can I'll suffer, but it'll be worth it. You know what I mean? It won't be like I went through something and just to say, what the hell? I went through. I'm like, okay, I'm glad I was a little stubborn on that. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. You feel me? That's what healing do. It do. Oh, they trying to take away your pants with evil eye. Y'all is, y'all is, this jealousy got to stop, baby. Why? Why? Hmm? I just be in my own room, my only business, reading these little tarot cards, these oracle cards, and communing with the high, the, the angels, the archangels. Like, why would you be mad at it? Why? Because you, oh, my bad. You full of demons. <laughs> Oh well, <laughs> life goes on. <laughs> um, I'm, uh, Spirit is telling me read. So I need to read Book of Revelations. When I read Revelations, what the church got and what I got was two different things. Like I was reading Revelations, it was a lot about chakras, how to power up your chakras, what to eat to open up your third eye if you just start your spiritual journey. It was a lot. I got a lot of in depthness about chakras and stuff, and that's how you end. Um, these vampire spirits, these narcissists, that's how you end these cycles. You, once you start powering up your, um, your, that cooling, how they call it, the Kundalini energy, once you keep having those, um, spiritual awakenings, once you get used to having them all the time, that's what makes you spirits. You have them constantly. It is, it's not like, oh, like when you first awaken, it's like so, like you're depressed and just want to die. Now it's just like, oh my God, okay, I'm going through a spiritual awakening. I just be quiet. What you trying to say, spirit? And it, it just energizes me now. I'll be like, ah, thank you. Ah, let me share it with the people. Ah, let me share it with the world. <laughs> that's what it do to me. Um, their uncle or somebody could be helping them with doing this evil eye in rarity they was trying to make something with the police 
but that has ended and now they're do sending e evil eyes to your wisdom <laughs> Baby, they they know everything under the sun, but calling you a child of God and praying for your for your upliftness. Like if you want answer, you doing all this. Why would I want you back? <laughs> oh, he's so nice. Oh, he's so this. Oh, he's so great in the bedroom. Said not me. I done had good stuff before, so <laughs> and I left it. So as it got time, I said I left that too. I was deuces. It's like I'm deuces on you. Is it's nothing, it's personal, but it's because you're toxic. If you was love and light and, and, or just balanced or authentic, that's the energy I rock with. That's the energy I stay around. It's a vibration for me. <laughs> yep, they're trying to stay sending the evil eye to your money. Child, damn, y'all. And you think I'm going to run back to you? Like, sir, do I want to, I'm not going to hold a gun to my head. I already been suicidal before. Not even suicidal. It was just like, I had no will to live. Same thing. Like, wait, <laughs> wait. <laughs> but the spirit is bringing you to peace. Someone, and they're trying to cause you trauma. And they try to divorce you and your counterpart. I guess you married your counterpart. I don't know. Did somebody want to have a counterpart? <laughs> Girl, go ahead, boy. Go ahead. I'm happy for you. No, they're trying to divorce y'all, though, in the spiritual room. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> that wasn't supposed to be that funny, was it? <laughs> Karmix, this free energy is going to be... Yeah. They try to make you um, send you out to your wisdom, but God said you're unstoppable because he made you that way. The guy gives. The guy gives. I know more angels than you, and more angels on my side than yours. Just simply because you don't utilize the angels. They see your evil heart, and they, they don't like your dusty ass energy. So they like, fuck out of here with that. <laughs> we don't want none of that. <laughs> and plus, when I awaken, I freed a lot of people in the spiritual room that was spiritually earthbound here, and I freed them. So they love me. <laughs> My bad. Too much information or too little? Who knows? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, they're trying to, to mess with your inner wisdom. They're trying to make you black out. There was the one Olympic spells on me. I, my head was hurting so bad the other day. And my daughter's. So like, Mom, I feel like I'm going to pass out. So she went to her room and went to sleep. And I went to the spiritual room. They was doing limpid, uh, limpid, lymphatic and limpid spells on us. Um, spirits want you to eat a lot of leafy greens. And they, they're still doing this false false god thing. This is my other Jezebel card where you hear knocking. So they're, they're definitely in your aura. Um, they're sending, yeah, they're, they're still messing with the evil eye, but they're sending, this is more of the gluttony energy, the love, the flies and stuff. I have noticed that too. Um, monitoring spirit, yeah, we know. The seven princes of hell, they sending them to you. They want you to be in lust, gluttony. That's that wasteful energy. Do something else. How about go heal so you can stop bleeding on people that ain't done nothing to you. I don't give a fuck no more. Like, <laughs> they're no man. <laughs> Baby, we don't care about no karmics no more. We're gonna we're gonna stand on business. You wanna be evil, we're gonna be good in them. People think because you cuss that make you evil. No, baby, that make me honest. <laughs> I know how to express myself properly. <laughs> and I don't just cuss 24-7. Like it's not like I'm just walking around, oh, everything out my mouth is a cuss word. No. <laughs> it's a balance, baby. I can do this. <laughs> because spirit said I can. It's a balance. When you see, when you are who you are, when you're authentic and don't have to wear a mask to make somebody believe that you law loving like or that you this genuine person when you're not. That's why God said that's why I love the being in the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, the, the love of God will call the love love covers a multitude of sin. Hence why I can be authentically myself, my G. <laughs> Maybe sorry. These people gonna be, <laughs> these people gonna be mad at me. Yup. 
Um, so we want you to eat berries too. They're good hypnosis spells. Okay, if you got an ex like me, their sister is doing hypnosis spells too, or doing some help them doing some kind of spell work. Yep, the whole, the whole family. Hey, they're trying to use control tactics as well. So just remember that. Um, they feel entitled. Oh, uh, if you, I'm um, talking about the divine kind of part. Your ex feel entitled to your energy. She feel like, <laughs> and my ex feel entitled to my energy. They feel like they should be entitled to our energy. But the gag is, even if I don't want to be with my twin flame or want to 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 come into union with my twin flame, I'm all all by myself. I can be whole all by myself. I don't have to be in union. I don't have to. Hence, I was. Asking it for two years and then after I broke up my, my ex, I have not slept with nobody. So, like, <laughs> you all use sex as a, <laughs> I don't know, as something to build yourself. I don't, I don't need it. I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> Even if I didn't have my kids, I would go donate all my time to shelters, to people that need it. It's, it's, it's so much more things you could do with your time. <laughs> Sexual gratification is, is, is nice. If you can share it with somebody who truly deserves that energy from you. If you're healed. Now if you're toxic and you spread toxicity, y'all y'all got lessons to learn. I get it. I don't. I don't no more of them lessons to learn. I done learned them all. And apply pressure. That's why I stand on business in my truth. Like I'm not gonna compromise who I am and my moral standings because I keep growing and nobody can catch up. I don't care about that part. That I just lend my time to charities and stuff like that if i didn't have kids i would do that shoot even when when, when my life gets so straight to my kids all in school <laughs> baby yeah my time will go to donating and, and doing something helpful because it's so many it's so much demonic stuff in here we need some god some more god energy in this world we need some more love and light we don't need all this rah rah when it comes to demonic I'll be rah rah when it's necessary. When you see me and I have to slay a demon or, or, or call up some angels, yeah, we rah rah then. But then I just get back in my feminine energy because I love being soft. I love being me. I love being a woman. I'm out, y'all. This has been, it's a little bit too long for me. And it's going to take a minute to process. This is like 2 30 in the morning. It's like 2 06 when I started, you guys. And I'm, the, the video is 30 minutes in. So I'm going to get off of here. Peace.